Hey, welcome back to Mobility Project. Got a torture device ready for you today. Basically, we're going to work on uh, you know, getting you up against the wall, opening up your hips in flexion, a little bit different stimulus, and then we're going to, and, you, and this is be appropriate to do before you worked out. Um, if you're having a hard time in the bottom position of your squat, your hips are tight, throw yourself up against the wall. I'm going to show you what the setup looks like. I've got my Finnish ninja, Yamatikan, in here. Uh, he's in town for the CrossFit Games. Uh, he teaches the mobility, mobility seminar in Europe for us. And uh, I want to show you that you know everyone suffers, and then we're gonna we're gonna do a piece for you afterwards that looks like uh, something you want to do after you work out. So here's what we got going on. The fidget just set himself up. He's got the band hooked around his knees, goes around his lumbar, not in, or his hips into his uh, pelvis, not into his lumbar spine, and around the back. We're a little bit blurry for some reason. I don't know what's going on. And then once he's done, go ahead and go back to the base position for us. Great. And he's going to wind his feet up, and then the wider he gets, the straighter makes his feet, the closer his bum gets to the wall, that all improves the quality of that. Right now you'll notice he's praying, he's praying that someone will come over and step on his face and end his life because this is a really miserable piece. So this could be your base position, but then the other thing we've been working on is kind of this notion of flossing, of taking the leg in and out. Go ahead and do a little flossing for me. And so now he's creating a little bit of shear across. But he's got some approximation going. So he's just going to work and just see if he can't kind of find a sticky corner. And uh, he's just internally rotating there. And then he can hook the other foot if he wants. That's beautiful. And that works. And just hang out, oscillate back and forth, see if he can make some change in those positions. What do you feel there, Yami? Right there. Bam. We're on the outside. And then flip around to that figure four up against the wall. Mm. Another place. Can you do that? Or just against the wall there? Which way? Just crossing the leg into extra rotation. Uh, Can you hook it up on the other fat leg? Give me it. Yep, and then just swing that thing right up, or let it fall down. So you can hook that leg into that position, which works just fine, or just do the classic figure four up against the wall there. And this time, we've seen this before, this is this flexion extra rotation. You'll notice he's got his hand on his knee over here, and then he's also got the approximation of the bands. The bands are driving the femurs into the back of the socket, and that's what makes this so potent. So dink around with this, test retest with your squat, dismount from there, Yami, and then we're going to show you the other piece of the homework is. So that's a pro ooh, fancy. Hey, were you on the national judo team? Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, don't mess with the finja. Okay, take a look at this. So that, that totally game on before you left. This is not game on before you left. This is something to do at home in front of the TV. And uh, we were just having a conversation today. We do not spend enough time working on this medial chain, especially in this middle splits. If we could just master basic splits, work towards that in the long haul. Certainly that's range of motion you would need, as Glenn would say, if you're going to kick someone in the head. But uh, for the rest of us, I'll tell you what, this medial split, this medium pancake split is, is good stuff. So belly tight, we shouldn't see any change in position, I shouldn't be flexed. I need to put my hands behind me, I can, to prep up, I'm up on my toes. I'm going to squeeze my quads and actually rotate. The second I can, I can even bring my hands forward and prep and just kind of lock myself in. But then, I'm just going to go ahead and make sure that I'm keeping the quads on. This is sort of an isometric shutdown, I'm just going to stay on these positions. Really trying to externally rotate and keep the back flat. The idea is that the body is trying to, trying to untorque me. I'm trying to create that high position of torque. I'm just going to camp out here. So I want you to set the, the clock four or five minutes, as long as you can take it. The only rules is I want you to be flexing your toes back, quads on, keep using my hands, externally rotate, and just keep the tension on. The second you can get forward without rounding your back, do so. You could do contract, relax here, but just spend a little time here. Don't exercise after you do this. You could be a little bit sore and tender, all right? Make sure you stand up, test, retest, see how that feels. You're going to be like, whoa, I have secret parts of my butt that just turned on. We'll see you guys tomorrow.